क्लास फोर साइंस टर्म वन लेसन नंबर वन हाउ डू प्लांट्स मेक दे फूड लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव इन दिस लेसन यू विल लर्न अबाउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस different parts of a leaf some unusual plants energy flow in living things how animals and plants depend on each other the process of energy flow in nature introduction all living things like human beings animals and plants need food to survive we get our food from both plants and animals the different parts of a leaf different types of plants have different types of leaves they are sizes and colors let us now learn about the different parts of a leaf lamina the flat surface of the leaf is called lamina or leaf blade stomata the lower surface of the leaf has tiny holes called stomata midrib the main vein running through the middle of a leaf is called midrib stalk the short stem attached to a leaf and to the main stem of the plant is called stalk activity for self practice the presence of chlorophyll in leaves pluck a leaf from a plant rub it on a white paper can you see green color on the paper this is called chlorophyll the process of photosynthesis the green leaves prepare food for the plants as they contain a green substance called chlorophyll photo means light and synthesis means putting together so green leaves use sunlight air and water to prepare food for the plant during photosynthesis food is prepared in the form of sugar and oxygen is given out by the leaves water the roots of a plant absorb water from the soil and send it to the leaves with the help of the stem carbon dioxide the leaves of a plant absorb carbon dioxide from the air with the help of tiny holes on the leaves called stomata which helps in the absorption of carbon dioxide sunlight chlorophyll present in the leaves help them to trap the rays of the sun and prepare food some unusual plants some plants do not contain chlorophyll and cannot make their own food they get their food from the dead and decaying plants and animals some plants like mushroom and moles do not have chlorophyll these plants cannot make their own food they use the dead and decaying plants and animals in the soil for getting nutrition these plants grow in damp areas sundews and pitcher plants are carnivorous plants they trap insects and use them 
as their food. Plants like cactus growing in deserts have needle like leaves. Photosynthesis occurs in the green colored stem and not in the leaves of these type of plants. Some plants like moss and lichens grow on other plants and animals and absorb food from them. Crotons have deep and red colored leaves. The red pigment hides the green chlorophyll. Since the leaves contain chlorophyll, they undergo photosynthesis. Interdependency of plants and animals. Animals and plants are dependent on each other for many things like plants are a source of food for animals in deserts where there is little water animals fulfill their water requirement by eating plants animals and plants survive by breathing in the oxygen produced by green plants some animals like birds and insects make their home in the trees so plants also provide shelter insects and some birds drink nectar from the flowers Honey birds and butterfly sucking nectar. Plants are also dependent on animals for many things like animals and humans breathe out carbon dioxide. This is used by plants for photosynthesis. Plants absorb nutrients from dead and decaying animals in the soil. They use these nutrients for making food. Animals and birds eat fruits and discard the seeds in other places. The seeds grow into a new plant. Balance in nature. The process of interdependency between plants and animals is called as food chain. Now you will see how the food chain may get disturbed. Consider the following food chain. Plants are eaten by rabbits and rabbits are eaten by foxes. If any of these components decrease or increase in number, the whole food chain gets disturbed. For example, if we cut too many plants, there will be no food left for the rabbits. They will starve and die since there will be no food for foxes. They also will starve and die. In the same food chain, Consider another situation. If we hunt rabbits, their number will decrease. The foxes will have shortage of food. They will starve and die. Again, the food chain got disturbed. So, a change in any component of the food chain disturbs the entire food chain. We can say that there is a delicate balance in nature and we must not disturb it. If you like this video, please share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon.